Lord, it's gonna change one day. If I ain't picking cotton, I'm bailing hay. I know you didn't mean for it to be this way, but I know it's gonna change one day. A change gonna come and it won't be long. I hope I'll be here to see it. If I don't, I'll be going home. Y'all, I'm picking this cotton and my back is aching. Lord, I know tomorrow's gonna still be breaking. Daylight come, I got to hit the field. Yes, I'm picking this cotton, Lord, it's show for real. This old field song that I'm singing will be sung when I'm gone. I've been picking this cotton and sharecropping all my life long. It's going to change one day. <laughs> and it has. <laughs> That's why I remember, you know, the old field songs, you know, that mama and papa used to sing. And people used to talk in tongues. Y'all going to think this is real strange, and I thought it was too. But I, when I thought back, I used to hear the old people talking and praying and in tongue, you know, blah, 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 you, you, you know what I'm talking about, those little tongues. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but I could have swore several times out in the field I heard my mama praying, and uh, and she was saying Obama. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> and I remember, if I, if when I thought back, I thought about it, well, she was saying Obama, but didn't have no idea that there, was, there would be an Obama or anything, but there was some of the words that came out of her mouth. And this was the day that they used to sing about uh, one of the one of, one of the instances, you know, to see uh, black people become something because we always thought of less than a person when we were coming up. And, uh, you know, I didn't never get into the bad things or think much of them. Like I said, I took all of the bad things that happened to me back then and turned them upside down and made good things out of them. Uh, I grew up with the Mennonites when I was a kid, from nine years old, they started working with me, and they taught me the N-word was an ugly little animal. They said it was so ugly, such an ugly little animal it wasn't fit to eat. And uh, we didn't use that word much and they didn't allow me to use it by them being Christian people so I never used it and I did, never even know what it was. And uh, we goes into a restaurant one day over in Quitman County. There was a little hole in the wall at the back where the black people went there to get waited on and white people could go inside and sit down and eat. And I was so scared of that little thing that little ugly animal that they called the N word. You know, I didn't know what it's so I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to go into this restaurant. But I'm with the Mennonites. I go in where they go. So I goes in there and this big old white guy walks up to me. He said, What are you doing in here, boy? I said, Well, I'm hungry. I come in to get something to eat. He said, Well, you know you we don't serve niggas in here, don't you? I said, Oh, I'm glad you don't. I don't eat them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He said, what? <laughs> I said, I don't eat him, man. That's an ugly little animal. He's so ugly, he ain't fit to eat. I said, I don't eat them anyway. And this guy was a little off, and he didn't know what to think. He said, holler back there. He said, Roy? He said, this boy up here said he don't eat niggas. He said, well, what do you want then? He said, he want a hamburger. He said, well, give him one. But Roy didn't know I was black. And so when Roy finally come out the back, he saw me. He sitting over there eating a hamburger. And he asked the other guy, he said, he said, what that boy doing sitting over there eating? He said, that's the one that don't eat niggas. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, what he doing in here? He said, you told me to give him a hamburger. <laughs> and so I take things like that uh, because it was a way of life then. If you, if, if, you, if you stay in the past and you worry about the past, you stay angry about the past, it's like going down the highway looking in your rearview mirror 24-7. You ain't getting nowhere. You're going to run into something, you know.